Today, we will be reading some of the greatest Stoic quotes to become productive and end procrastination. When you feel like procrastinating, you should first question yourself and your actions. Do you really wake up every morning and go to sleep every night excited at the idea of scrolling through Twitter? What then is it that does bring you fulfillment? Learning, helping others, teaching or anything else? Do these leave you feeling good? Why then waste your time scrolling through pages of models who digitally manipulate themselves? This does no good for you. How long are you going to wait before you demand the best for yourself? Withstand the setbacks and failures, the days of drudgery and the hard work that are always a part of any creative action. Understand a critic doesn't disturb you, it disturbs your ego. You want to know the truth, your ego is scared of it. The path of least resistance is a terrible teacher. It is easy to blame them it is hard to confront me. The easy path is the road to ruin. The hard path is the way of growth. Do not envy those who seems naturally gifted. It is often a curse. Stop putting things off and waiting for another time or the perfect time to do them. There never is a better time to do something than right now. All waiting does is waste time, waste opportunity and waste lessons from failure and success. Hoping that your future self will carry out these tasks only enforces the characteristics of a future self that also puts off these tasks. If something is worth doing, it is worth doing poorly. Can you take criticism and use it constructively? We must be willing to roll the dice and lose. Prepare at the end of the day for none of it to work. When you think you are done, you are only at 40% of your body's capability. Focus on the moment, not the monsters that may or may not be up ahead. Nothing is more valuable than your time, for it is irretrievable. Putting things off is the biggest waste of a life, as it denies us the present by promising the future. If it is important to you, then do it. Think of all the things you've put off in your life and never got around to. Don't let the things that are important to you now be added to that list. Don't sabotage the long term for temporary comfort and pleasure. Don't burn down the hut for heat. Tomorrow you'll be colder and without a hut. Growth and comfort do not coexist.
Resistance is like an invisible string that tries to pull you away from tasks of importance. The bigger the pull, the more important it is that you must do it. If you are feeling resistance, causing you to procrastinate and put off your work or goals, know that allowing resistance to hold you back will lead you nowhere. Understand that these feelings prove how important the tasks are to you. Know that a few months, weeks, days, or even minutes of focus and discomfort can change your life. The more time you spend in your discomfort zone, the more your comfort zone will expand. This is the mark of perfection of character, to spend each day as if it were your last, without frenzy, laziness or any pretending. What matters most is not what our obstacles are but how we see them, how we react to them, and whether we keep our composure. You have an infinite library in your hand, an abundance of educators and teachers in your pocket. You have access to information and education. You have access to information and education that great leaders and kings could only dream of. With this great gift, there comes groups of people who bid for your attention, making the gift worthless to you. It becomes a tailored commercial. Don't be distracted. Understand the power that you have. Lessons, lectures, books and teachings, all one click away. Life isn't about doing the things we like to do, it's about doing the things we have to do. It is better to perform one's own predetermined duty, even if one performs that duty imperfectly. Even if one performs that duty imperfectly, than perform the duty of another when one performs his own predetermined duty in accordance with one's nature. One does not incur any sin. First see clearly, next act correctly, finally endure and accept the world as it is. Don't let your fears paralyze you into becoming a lesser version of yourself. Eliminate fear by confronting what you're afraid of. We define ourselves far too often by our past failures. That's not you. You are this person right now. You are the person who has learned from those failures. Repeated failure will toughen your spirit and show you with absolute clarity how things must be done. Take a deep breath, get present in the moment and ask yourself, what is important this very second? You can change it, you can accept it, or you can leave it. What is not a good option is to sit around wishing you would change it, but not changing it. Wishing you would never leave it, but not leaving it, and not accepting it. Focused attention is infinitely. Focused attention 
is infinitely more valuable than an idle mind. In the morning, write down your goals of the day, the goals that if you complete them, you'd feel accomplished. Now give these goals your undivided attention. Try, accomplish them to the best of your ability. You will achieve your day's work a lot faster than you once thought. People are always looking for shortcuts. The only way to achieve greatness in life is to have patience, consistency and discipline. Genius often really is just persistence in disguise. Regardless of how you spend your time, it will pass. If the time will pass regardless of the things you give your energy to, isn't it better that you give your energy to the positive, the good, the things that help you, the things that help you better your life and the people around you? Spend your time instead of destroying. Cultivate a fearless approach to life. Attack everything with boldness and energy. Self-discipline and self-control determine the quality of your life more than anything else. Progress is not achieved by luck or accident, but by working on yourself daily. Because most of what we say and do is not essential, if you can eliminate it, you'll have more time and more tranquility. Ask yourself at every moment, is this necessary? Every master was once a student. Every expert once a beginner. The only way you can ever become an expert is by being a beginner. Remember that beginners fail. Beginners make mistakes. Beginners aren't good. The road to mastery can only be traveled by the person who can tolerate being a beginner. Accept the mindset of a beginner and you'll be welcomed with an abundance of lesson and wisdom. There is no better way to grow as a person than to do something you hate every day. It is not daily increase but daily decrease, hack away the unessential, the closer to the source, the less wastage there is. Show people, don't tell people. Do not sabotage your future for momentary comfort and pleasure. If you burn down your home to keep warm, tomorrow you will be without a home and you'll still be cold. Your future self is just you, but living with the circumstances of your present actions. Make the right decision so your future self is in a better position than you are now. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Live your life like you're the hero in your movie. When you feel like procrastinating or acting on negative impulses, the pain of discipline is much less than the pain of regret. The rewards of discipline are so much more than that of greed. The pleasure from acting out these impulses is fleeting. 
and leads to feeling of guilt and leads to feelings of guilt you may feel like procrastinating but remember that you won't get this time back use your time for self improvement reflections education and helping others you have power over your mind not outside events realize this and you will find strength be present above all else there is no reward for procrastination you only receive momentary pleasure which leads you down the wrong path and feeds the cycle of bad habits the rewards for discipline are endless and lead to you building better habits which make you a better person while we wait for life life passes to complain is always non acceptance of what is discomfort is a wise teacher the obstacle is the way think today about the actions you took yesterday and all days prior which ones fill you with regret and which ones are you grateful for which ones helped and which ones hurt use this as your guide for today when you are faced with a choice remember the outcome last time a good day is built of good choices and a good life is built from good days don't keep making the same mistakes if you know how to fix them Thank you for listening to Everyday Stoic. If you enjoyed these stoic quotes, find more on Instagram at Everyday Stoic. As always, please take these quotes and lessons and apply them to help you end procrastination.